In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your envelopes fields by adding variable data in those fields before you send them out to your recipients. Welcome back to Solisign's channel. My name is Sofian and I'm the owner of Solisign, an agency on a mission to help your business grow by automating paperwork. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can customize your envelopes fields by adding variable data in those fields before you send them out to your recipients. And before I show you this, if you're a DocuSign beginner, I want you to know that I've created a cheat sheet that will help you get started with DocuSign quickly. It includes terminology, how to create and use your template, as well as understanding what each type of field is for. And I want you to have it, it's completely free. You can get it using the link down below. Most people don't know how to customize envelopes by adding variable data in the fields before sending them out. So what they end up doing is adding themselves, them being senders, as the first signer of the workflow so that they can input data in the field. While there isn't anything fundamentally wrong doing this, you're just wasting time by clicking on things that you shouldn't need to click on. So in this video, I'll show you how to uh, improve your workflow and customize the fields before you send them out. Let's just imagine that you already had the candidates or the new employees address and you want to pre-fill this field. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to edit the field in your template because then that information will be saved in the template. So you don't want that. What you want to do instead is to click on use and then click on advanced edit. I'm not talking about advanced options, but advanced edit. So now DocuSign has generated a envelope based on the template you've just used. And you can see this because you don't have the option to change the name of the role and you can't even click on next you're gonna to need to enter the name and email for your new employee. So just enter the recipient's details and then click on next. And this is on the next page that you'll be able to enter the address, such as 123 Main Street, for example. And this address will then reflect in the envelope that your recipients will look at when they will open the envelope. So I'm now looking at the envelope from the employee's perspective. I've just opened the envelope and I can see that the street address has already been pre-filled. And I will now walk you through the exact same steps, but this time we'll look at the new DocuSign interface using the paid production account. So we'll locate the template and click on use. You need to click on edit, then click on next, enter the recipient's detail, and then click on next again. And this is where you'll be able to pre-fill the details for your recipients before you send your envelope using the new DocuSign experience of your paid production account. And if you want to take your business to the next level by automating paperwork, you can find the link to book a complimentary call with me in the description of this video so we can discuss our consulting options and your setup. I will see you in the next one.